Well, Chief Meteorologist Bill Martin grew up in the town of Paradise. You were in Paradise yesterday right. uh, on the fire lines, and we've been talking about these conditions. Earlier today, you talked about how unpredictable this fire has been yeah. and, and, and how that's pl kind of playing a role. Last night, we even doubted that it would make it to Chico, and here right. it is drifting that When direction. I left last night at about 1230 or so, the fire had made it all the way down to Highway 99, which is basically the eastern side of Chico, where they were um, evacuating some folks in the eastern part of Chico, which is astonishing considering this fire just started yesterday. Yesterday. And Paradise is a good 15, 18 miles up the road, and it burned. It just burned a lot of area. So, um, yeah, it's a it is a big fire, and people I talked to up there. I think the, the most uh, uh, obvious thing to me was I talked to a lot of evacuees, people coming out, and they've been driving all day to get down. In traffic like this, as a matter of fact, where they were stopped bumper to bumper, flames all around them into the person. Mm. Traumatized. Everybody. I mean, I've seen. You know. You know how people mm -hmm. look after they've been in a war oh, zone. Yeah. yeah. That's. And it was. It was. It was. It was surreal. Actually, it was very un, un, mm. unreal. The, the. You know. As people just kind of come stumbling out of their cars and tell their stories. Did you, how's your house? Lost it. How's your house? Lost it. Everyone. Not one person said I still have a house. Mm. And I talked to many, many people. What surprised you most about, uh, or is surprising you most about the action, the way this fire is really acting out there now? Um. I. I. I, I I think that the fact that it jumped those canyons, you got the, you got the south, you got the um, west branch of the Feather River, which is south of town, then you got the Butte Creek Canyon on the north side of town. Those, and, and, and the town sits in the middle. Those canyon, those canyon fires merged. That's never happened, to my knowledge, in that town since the 1870s. I mean, I, I grew up there. I, I got a long. I know people have been there 100 years, uh, or had been there 100 years, and that's never happened. So um, that's what strikes me is that it, you, when something's in a canyon, they kind of burn in a canyon, and they, they've always kind of get, they, they, they put them out. They're not easier mm -hmm. to put out, but you can get them out before they climb up on the ridge. This actually came out of one canyon, jumped into another canyon, and then popped up over the top. Wow. Um, and you get 20,000 people to live there. Um, mm -hmm. And you have only a few access routes mm -hmm. in and out of town. Really, one main artery, one main artery, Skyway. Mm -hmm. But Clark and Pence, you can get out on. Um, some people, which is something to me, had to evacuate on old logging roads out the back towards mm -hmm. Almanor, towards Butte, um, Butte Meadows and places like that. Little, barely two lane roads. I can't imagine what that was like last night, mm -hmm. going out sort of from the north to the north. Probably very frightening for a lot of people as yeah. we saw that three-year-old in the car with her dad oh my gosh. trying to calm well, down. And those, story, those stories are endless. Yeah. I mean, and that's the thing is that that's yeah, wow, that's an amazing. Everyone had that story. Mm. Everyone, and uh, not everyone, but many people didn't know where anybody was. A lot of folks don't have cell phones. A lot of all the mm -hmm. landlines are down. Cell towers are down. Um, it's still. I was just talking to Mark Jamai about this. That. There's for, for being day two of this thing, there's not a lot of good information mm. coming out. It's very, it's very quiet, and yeah. that's kind of an eerie thing, too. Yeah, the death toll going up to six, as we said earlier in the newscast. Uh, that was uh, the five that we knew about earlier in the day. Uh, thank you so much uh, for oh, your insight into what's going on up here.